give our precious family bonding time with ABC Mouse Science. Yay! Yay. What shall we learn today? Physical science. Wow! Let's see. Let's see. What do you want to learn today, Levi? Yeah. Um, let me see. Um. This. Okay. Professor Hester. Sounds, Sounds of, of instruments. instruments. Okay. Hi, kids. Professor Esther Hester here, and this is Jester, my lab partner. Say hello, Jester. Hello. <laughs> <Is it> <laughs> Today, we are going to use science to learn all about how musical instruments make sound. Bet you didn't know that there's actually a science to music. It's all about energy, sound energy. In order to make a sound, an object has to move back and forth. We call that back and forth motion vibration. When something vibrates, it makes the air vibrate. And that vibration moves through the air from the object to our ears. The vibrating air makes the eardrum inside our ears vibrate. That's how we hear the sound. When we play a music instrument, we're just making it vibrate in a special way to make musical notes. Different instruments make sounds in different ways. Let's look at some of them. These cymbals, bells, and drums will make a sound when you hit them. Thanks, Jester. Now watch what happens when I hit this gong softly with this mallet. I created a small vibration and a quiet sound. Now watch what happens when I hit this gong hard. <laughs> I created a big vibration and a loud sound. Isn't that right, Jester? <laughs> Instruments like these guitars, violins, and harps make sound when the strings vibrate. The harder the musician plucks the string, the louder the sound. It's fun to play the ukulele. It's even fun just to say ukulele. Ukulele! Wind instruments like flutes, trumpets, and clarinets are hollow tubes with air inside. You can make the air vibrate by blowing into the tube. When you play a trumpet, like I do, you make your lips vibrate when you blow. Like this. That's what causes the air in the trumpet to vibrate to make music. works a little differently than a trumpet. Instead of making your lips vibrate, you blow across the hole at the top, and that makes the air inside vibrate. Listen. You can actually try this at home, even if you don't have an instrument. It's time for today's experiment, which I like to call Professor Hester's Tester. For this experiment, you'll need a few empty bottles filled with different amounts of water. <laughs> Thanks, Jester. I see you found my nephew, Lester. Hi. I filled each bottle with different amounts of water, just like you said. Good job, Lester. Now, put your mouth where you can blow right across the opening. Keep blowing until you get a clear note. That's it! Why was this note different? When there is more liquid in the bottle, there is less room for air. Because of this, the air inside vibrates faster, so the note is higher. A bottle with less liquid has more air. Then the air inside the bottle vibrates slower, so the note is lower. Okay, let's jam, boys. Hit it, Jester. 
See you next time. <laughs> oh, nice. Wow. So today we learned about sounds. Yes. So what do you learn about sound today, Leroy? Okay. Mm. Drum. Okay. So why why does it have sound? It's because when you hear it, it will vibrate. Ah. Uh, okay, that's good. We learn different instrument. There's different sound, different tone, different vibration. Okay, that's good learning. Yes. So we shall end this video. Okay, do like and share our video. Subscribe to our channel. Yeah, subscribe for more videos. See you next time. Join us for our next lessons. Thank Bye. you for your support. Bye. Bye.